I'm David. And we are in couples, couples in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> so we came up with an awesome idea. We actually fit by ourselves in terms of all our fitness regimen, but today we choose to CrossFit since we're in quarantine mm -hmm. and we're a couple. Mm -hmm. My husband is going to show you the his version, that's why he's got the blue mat. I'm going to show you the her version since I got the pink mat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work together and we're going to do something that we think will benefit couples who happen to be in quarantine. So take a little stroll with us. There's some tidbits, some nuggets, something to extrapolate for the spirit, the soul, and the body. So guys, I'm just going to tell you right up front. I don't normally do Pilates. Donna normally does her own thing with that, and I do my own training. But we are crossfitting today, and so it's going to be fun, you know, trying out some of the things that she does. So if any of you guys are out there, just work with me, and let's let's try to do something that we don't normally do. So, honey, it's in your court. Okay, so first you of all, because you're my obliging little okay. worker. Be easy on Worker B. Okay, worker B. Uh, but be okay. easy on me. Okay. First, we're going to get into a four-legged position. Oh, Lord, let me get there. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And what we're going to do is quite simple, but we're going to just lift up that large leg muscle. And all we're going to do, yes, okay. and we're going to just do 10. What are we doing? So go breathe up One. and down. Breathe up, up and down. down. Breathe up, up and down. down. Breathe up and down. down. Think happy thoughts. Uh, and down. Up, up and, and down. down. And five uh, and down. down. Only and six. And down. Seven and down. Eight and down, nine and down, ten. Come on, fellas, we can do it. <laughs> Are you okay with switching to the other side? Uh, yeah. Let's go. go back on fours. Okay. Breathe in and breathe out. Good job. You got your water in okay. case you need to refresh. All you can right. do it anytime. Yes, here we go. Leg up. Yeah. Oh, this one here. Working the large muscle. All right, got it. Core in. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. down, and that's four up and down, down. five up. and down. Breathe in and out. And Come down. on, brothers, y'all can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Eight, Eight and down. down. Nine, Nine and down. down. Ten, Ten and down. down. Come on, give me a high five. I, I can feel that, girl. Now, did you work something? Oh, I, I felt it. What you okay, work? I felt it. I felt it. You like worked right, your glute. I felt it right here. You in my had your back core. Side. Yeah. I you worked it. your large muscles. Yes, I felt all of that. Good job. Okay, so that was good. <sighs> okay, so now you're gonna do something that I like to do. Go ahead. All right, so now what I like to do okay. is I like to do the apples. Okay. And so Donna don't normally I like don't to do like this, it. but we're gonna do this today since I did her thing right. <laughs> so she gonna do something that I like. <laughs> so we're gonna just do what? Fifteen? Okay. We just do fifteen. You gotta. All right. Show and then me what we'll do I is after we do the fifteen, we'll sit and talk with you guys about you know how we how a lot of that relates to scripture and uh, how we're really getting some insight as we're in our quarantine time. All right. So quarantine. Uh, quarantine. All right. So what we're gonna do? Take your hat wheel. <laughs> Make sure your arrow, sweetheart, is pointing full. All right. You see that, honey? See the little me? arrow? See it right there? And make sure it's pointing that way. It's pointing that way. All right. Make sure you got clear path there. Make sure you're doing stuff right away. There you go. Come in a little closer. Little you want to be close. I just want to be close. But come get some sugar. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't mess up the gloss, Listen, man. I needed that sugar. They're don't trying to get me a little rough. Now listen, ain't going to mess up the lip balm. You ready? <laughs> We're going to go all the way down. Make sure when we go down, we're going to stretch out, go all the way to the ground, and then come back up. No, don't be go easy on me. I'm going to be easy on you. We're just going to do 15. Ready? Follow with me. Ready? And go. One. Oh my gosh. You can do it. Two. Ah, there you go. Come on. Three. Ah, you can do this, baby. Come on. Four. Ah. Come on. Ah. Ah. There you go. Come on. What did you feel when you did oh, that? Oh, my, my knees. 
knees. If not your knees. My back. Your back. My back is aching. Your back is aching. Oh my lord. Did you feel anything in the core there? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I felt it Get all the back. Well, you know, my uh, I had an issue with my back once, and my doctor told me that in order to help that, take the string off the back to work on the core. And he said that the core was like the center. The core was like the center of strength. And so I thought about that and how the word says uh, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are, are safe. And how Nehemiah talked about, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And that is our strength. And so if that's our core, God is our core. Amen. So when I strengthen that core, I'm giving God, I'm, I'm allowing God to come in and strengthen me. So anyway, that's kind of my relation to scripture with regards to that workout. How about yours? Wow. Mine, with regards to stretching, I realize in the body we're being stretched. Yes. Uh, he's pruning us according yes. to John the 15th chapter. He's challenging us to bear more fruit, yes. which is more stretching that's going on right now. Just like we got creative during quarantine time, we're finding creative things to do. We're going to bear fruit. Yes, we are. We're going to intentionally connect, mm -hmm. collaborate, crossfit, Amen. because we're being prepared not only naturally, but spiritually. For when we go out there, we need the brightness and vibrance of God's countenance shining on us. So when people are looking hopeless and in despair mm -hmm. because of all the news they're hearing across the air, we can be that beacon of light and hope that we can offer to people say, hey, there is hope beyond the disappointment. There is hope beyond the hurt. And there is hope when couples come together in Christ. Ooh, amen. Couples in quarantine, always keeping Christ as the center of the core. Amen. Ooh. He's stretching us. He is certainly He's stretching, stretching us. us. Well, listen, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And we just wanted to give you a little 10-minute morsel. Uh, and let you know some of the things that we're doing during this time of quarantine. Please stay tuned yes, for our next yes, segment. Yes, we'll yes. talk about some other things that you can do uh, while we're in this quarantine time. And, uh, some things that you can do just bring us closer together. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So anything you want to say? That's it. Together, fit in Him. Amen. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next broadcast.